Hello Aquarius and welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. I am Lorianne here to give you messages for the month of August. As we roll out of July, this is for the reading of August, so we're going to look at leaving July and entering into the month. And you have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck, which is a beautiful, a beautiful experience is getting ready to happen for some of you. Now, I find that a lot of people right now are feeling a little bit stagnant, a little bit stuck, and there you go, the card of patience, temperance. This is exactly what I'm picking up on, not just for Aquarians, but for a lot of energies, a lot of zodiac signs, just people in general in life. And you may have felt like this since the month of December, if not even longer. Temperance is about patience while we're waiting for ourself and our lives and the world around us to become more in balance and in harmony. It takes time for that to happen internally and externally. But with this, this is saying something major is getting ready to come in for you because this is a beautiful positive moment. Sometimes we are stalled by the universe when it is in our time and we can feel stuck when that happens. And that stalling that I'm talking about, it puts us in this place of being blinded. Blinded by what, by what we cannot see, but yet with temperance, we can certainly feel it. We feel it in our emotions, we feel it in our chakras, and we can't see it, but we know it's there. So you may have felt very, very stuck. And again, I'm looking at the Ace of Wands, I mean the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Wands, oops, is what's following it. Now, this is a major opportunity getting ready to come in. Like I was saying, a brand new beginning. And you do have the Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Let's see if it comes out. It does. But where are we headed? This is about truth and justice coming back into you. So if you have been waiting a very long time to receive the offer, to receive a new beginning, and almost to the point where you felt confused, am I even on the right track? Am I even in alignment with my own self? The answer is yes. This is a yes card, a big yes card. So let's take a look with our other deck on what's coming in for the month of August, because this is how you are leaving the month of July, feeling rejuvenated, feeling restored and balanced. Justice is going to be served through all of this, whatever you've been through. So we do have the Seven of Cups. This is about confusion in a negative capacity, but it is also about your dreams, your visions, and everything you thought was going to happen is going to happen. It's a low vibrational energy here and a high vibrational energy because it's actually representing both positive and negative where we must be in balance to restore. So this is saying whatever you saw in your dreams, if you were seeing visions of future, a future home, a future relationship, it may very well be en route to you right now. These are ideas and opportunities that are getting ready to pop in all over the place. And the star card came out with it. So the star card is about that wish being granted once we're able to see the truth and restore that balance, we've got this incredible, amazing you. This represents the zodiac sign of Aquarius in the full true form. This is about truth. You are an honest individual, usually. Nobody's perfect, right? We all do. But in the core of who you are, it's all about tr truth and justice and making certain that the humanity, society as a whole, understands the difference so that all people can walk in this energy. A true humanitarian that is getting ready to speak in a very profound way with that Ace of Swords, you're gonna to speak to the outside world. Now let's look at a little bit of detail and see a little bit further what you went through and what's actually this wish is because it, it can be different. And this is for the sun, moon, and rising. I didn't say that. Um, but let's, let's see. We have the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands was in the reverse, all right? These are detail cards, and I don't read them specifically upside down or anything because it captures both the positive and negative. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is nasty. I'm going to tell you, that's when we're feeling 
the lowest amount of self-confidence that we can possibly feel almost and really nasty energy that that five of swords kind of underlying in an upside down upside down queen but in the upright this is where you're ending so you went through both sides of the queen you have low confidence and you had to rebuild your confidence and whoever is in that chair behind you they may have very well pushed you or made you feel suppressed and you had to go through all of those struggles in order to find your happiness look at that the joy this could have been gossip this may have been your family this is uh, if we're looking at zodiac sign we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius may be attached in some level, or it could have happened in those months, but it took a lot for you to turn this upright. This would have been in the negative as well, because to conquer the Ace of Swords, you have to go from both. So this was upside down gossip. This was feeling like you may have been a victim of, of even spiritual attacks for some of you, and I know that's kind of far out there. But when we're talking about the cups this is open to the universe and if we're in the reverse we're going to pull in those negative vibes so you did a lot of work to get through this beautiful beautiful because those were reversed and now they're upright at the end of july rolling into august now we have the king of wands <laughs> some of you may very well be meeting a brand new partner an offer coming in that's going to put you in a place of of actual stardom for some of you and I feel it's in the public eye if this is you and you're looking for this could be a public speaker or gaining some type of attention from a king of wands the king of wands can be an offer from a business that actually is very uh, aligned with your passion whatever you're passionate about whatever your craft is that you do for a living this is about being in control and knowing when to turn your back, when not. Some of you, you had your back to a king of wands. You were dealing with somebody in the past that may have, like I said, hurt you very much. This could be your romantic partner that devastated you and injured you on multiple levels in society amongst the crowds. There was a lot of work involved in this, and there still is. I feel for you, you really, really have an opportunity coming in that's going to drive your passion. Remember that Ace of Wands was on the bottom of the deck. And the Ace of Wands is talking about exactly that, a new beginning based on your passion. So grab your King of Wands and match it with your inner queen. Together is balance and harmony. And when we have both sides, now we can actually create, with hard work, amazing opportunities. And we have the card of judgment. So some of you may be getting ready to, to meet a king of wands. It doesn't mean that you already know them, although you may, because this can talk about reconciling with people. But this also talks about reconciling within yourself. If you're getting ready to meet a romantic partner, the person that you wish for, the person that you saw in your dreams, for some of you, it could have been a seven year, uh, five dash seven years where you've been seeing this person in your dreams on a romantic level. You can have a reconciling moment and recognize that you have a new beginning coming in and this person is going to show up. I feel they're going to show up in your personal life if this is romantic. They're going to show up in your personal life. There you go. Now, it could be a family reunion as well, but whoever this person that's coming in, this is an amazing opportunity to feel like abundant. All your wishes are being granted. If it's a family reunion, you're going to have a family reunion coming in between August and October. You might be meeting up with them, them reaching out to you, but everything is because of the work that you've done. It took so much work to get here. So your reward is coming in. For some of you, this is a brand new family. This is a brand new moment where your Ace of Cups is going to emerge reconciling any past differences so that you can release and gain that closure. 
For some of you, this is following us on the Buck Moon and, and joining in that cleansing release session that we're going to do a group session and letting it all go. And when we do, we'll take that Ten of Cups and roll it right over into the new beginning. This is a really beautiful energy. It is absolutely amazing. And I feel it is so, so valuable for you to hear. Now let's see what the overall angel message is for you guys. We have Serena. I am the angel of abundance. And through this card, they're saying, pay attention to everything that's around you. You have worked so hard. It is your time. It's your time to shine in the public eye. It's your time to get that offer. That was my dog. <laughs> Captain Lovebug's here. <clears throat> it was your time to reconcile differences, to finally create the balance and harmony that you deserve. So Aquarians, join me on TikTok. Join me as we do energy shorts here and we... He work on the mind, the body, and the soul. Much love.